Okay, so I guess what we're looking at here is whether or not it makes sense to trade your gold for silver. And I'm not even sure that I like thinking about this. Okay, so maybe you're looking at the gold to silver ratio these days. Right now, it's floating around 91 to one. And that means that the spot price of gold is 91 times higher than the spot price of silver. Now at its height, the gold to silver ratio hit about 110 or so, and that was a pretty recent occurrence. It happened in April of 2020. It was also a little bit of a freak occurrence. Normally the ratio was lower. It'll get as low as say 60 to one. If you look back over the past 10 years, but typically we've been seeing something between 70 to one and 90 to one, at least in recent history. So if you wanted to trade the ratio, as it oscillates back and forth between 70 to one and 90 to one, you could hypothetically grow your stack without putting any more cash into the mix. And if you wanted to give that a shot at 91 to one, well now would be the time to trade gold for silver. But I'm gonna tell you why I'm not doing it. Now the first thing that I'd say about gold and silver is that it's very expensive to trade physical. If you wanna make money on swings and spot price, you need to beat your acquisition costs. So if you're paying 7% premium on your physical gold purchase and you're making 1% premium back on your physical gold sale, well, you have a 6% spread to cover. So any trade that you make has to beat that 6% before you start making a profit. And with silver, it's a lot worse. Now my local shop right now has silver in stock with premiums ranging between 25% and 95%. We're gonna come back to the specifics of that, but after a quick conversation, it looks like the minimum buy to sell spread that I would need to cover in a trade at today's rates would be about 25%. So in other words, gold would need to increase in spot by five to 6% and silver would need to increase in spot by 25% before I could make a profit in a trade. Now, if you do wanna trade the gold to silver ratio, there are ways to do it. One would be that you can do it with derivatives on the stock market. I know people who do, not many, but it seems like there's always somebody out there willing to tell you about their wins. Anyway, if you wanna trade the ratio with physical, you have to consider those premiums. And then you also have to consider the work required to make the trade. And that might not seem like a big deal, but stick with me. I'm gonna tell you what I found over the years. So in an imaginary world, we would know the tops and we would know the bottoms for gold and silver price. And then the person we were trading with, well, they wouldn't. So, okay, we know there's no world like that, but we're gonna act like it's the case just for the sake of storytelling. So that gets us to premium. If you were to find a private party willing to make a gold to silver trade, you have to figure out the premium on top of spot. And you could use a site like JM Bullion to get the value of the physical metals involved in the trade they'd make a good neutral party. So let's just say that you'd like to move American Gold Eagles and you wanna move them into 10 ounce sunshine mint bars for silver. I'll come back to why I picked that. You would find a buyback number for your American Gold Eagles on the site, JM Sell to Us price right now is $1,775. And that's about a 3% premium and a buyback. And that's, that's pretty good. The sell to us price on 10 ounce sunshine mint bars is $191. That's maybe not quite as good. So if we get out the calculator, you could get 93 ounces of silver for that one ounce of gold if you ignored the fact that 10 ounce silver bars don't divide into three tenths. So this is our first issue. Nobody is going to trade you their silver for $19 an ounce. Okay, so I've never found a private party or a person, I don't know why I'm calling them a party. I've never found a person willing to take the other side of a trade at an extreme like this. 91 to one, the guy on the side of silver is not gonna do real well. And I've also never found a person willing to take a trade that has exactly what I would want. So I can calculate the trade ratio all day long for 10 ounce sunshine mint bars, but the reality is that if I find someone willing to make a physical ratio trade, I'm getting whatever strange stuff they've accumulated over the years that they're willing to get rid of. It's gonna be random stuff, it's gonna be ugly stuff. And in this case, I've only been talking about the hypothetical case of trading one ounce of gold for 90-ish ounces of silver. What happens if you wanna do it at scale? What happens if you have 10 ounces of gold, if you have 100 ounces of gold, if you have more? Now, obviously, it can get complicated. 
So the easiest place to work a gold to silver ratio trade, at least with physical holdings, is going to be your local coin shop. And what I've found both from doing this in the past and from a few recent phone calls is that you'll get their best deal. That's on the buy side. But before you get too excited, that typically means that the final amount is pretty much just rounded up in your favor. And this in no way is talking down the local shops, their businesses, they have to make money. But the way that it works in any case that I've seen it personally at a local coin shop is that they figure out what they'd pay for your gold. They figure out what they'd sell the silver for. And then they tell you how much more that they're going to need in cash. So really, it's a lot like two separate transactions. They just have a calculator involved to do some subtraction. So if you look at the case that I gave, one ounce American Gold Eagle, they're paying $17.50 today if I was to sell it to them. And they'd sell me nine 10 ounce generic mint silver bars for $22.50 all in. That's $250 a pop. So they'd tell me that I need another $500 to make that trade worthwhile to them. Now you're always good to hear from people who've done better than that. And I know them well enough by now that I could possibly get a better deal too, but that's actually a pretty common approach. And you could just say that I'll take seven for an even trade, no extra cash rather than nine and then give that $500. So your effective gold to silver ratio either way would be 70 to one. It's a little bit different than 91 to one. Now, if you wanted American silver eagles today, your effective gold to silver ratio would probably be a lot more like 50 to one because my local shop is selling American silver eagles all day long for $35. If you're lucky, maybe you could get somebody to offer them up at $30. That would be 58 to 1. So every time you make a trade, you're losing premium. And actually, if we want to be specific, when you buy physical metals, you're spending money on the premium. It's when you sell physical metals that you're actually losing it. And that's why I don't trade physical metals. I accumulate them. If I want to trade, I go to the markets. I click some buttons. I don't pay premiums. I also don't need to bring a wheelbarrow for a trade. Imagine trading 100 ounces of gold for 9,000 ounces of silver or 7,000 or 5,800, whatever it is. You're looking at between four and 600 pounds of metal. That might take you a little while to load. So I won't tell you that you can't or shouldn't trade the ratio with physical. You can do whatever you want, of course. And this is not something that always has to follow logic in the first place. I made some trades from silver to gold in late 2020 that weren't particularly logical. I think the ratio at the time was 65 to 1, so it was okay. But my effective ratio ended up being 80 to 1 because I was trading low premium silver for high premium gold. So the case that I traded, I went from two generic 10 ounce silver bars. That would get me a one quarter ounce gold American Eagle. So if I just looked at that one trade, it was a trade that I made several times. Now that the ratio is better, it's gone from 68 or 65 to one to 91 to one, I should be able to trade that gold back to silver and then end up with more silver than I had in the first place. So looking at today, if I work this back, taking the one ounce of gold that I got from 80 ounces of silver, could I end up ahead? Well, I couldn't in my local shop. I found that out this morning. I could get seven 10 ounce generic silver bars. So while the ratio went from 68 to one to 91 to one over that 20 months or so, I've actually lost value because of the burn premium in those trades. So my point in all this is to look at whether trading the gold to silver ratio actually makes sense with physical metals. You might be able to get it to work, but I haven't been able to. And I think that that has a lot to do with me not thinking of physical gold or silver as an investment. If I was, that would really require me to always be looking for the right exit. So at the same time that I traded some of those Sunshine Mint bars, I also sold some American Silver Eagles. Earlier I mentioned that it's always easy to find someone willing to tell you about their wins. I'm going to give you one for comparison. I mentioned a few times now that I sold down or I traded about 600 ounces of silver. But right about the time of those silver to gold trades that I made with the Sunshine Mint bar into the quarter ounce American Gold Eagles, I sold 40 ounces of American Silver Eagles to my local shop. I got $30 an ounce, and then I sold 80 ounces privately for $40 an ounce. So that got me a little bit more than $4,000, since we're specific here, is $4,400. And I bought somewhere around $2,000 worth of Bitcoin. It was 0.17, I don't remember what the transaction fees were. And then I bought six Ethereum. Those were $385 at the time. Bitcoin was like $11,500. 
when I sold the Bitcoin, it was about 10,000 net. When I sold the Ethereum, I sold four for about 16,000. I kept a few for my kids. So this sounds a lot like some guy telling you about this one time that they killed it. That's not really what I'm trying to do, but it is a case of turning 120 ounces of silver into more than $30,000 in about 12 months. So that's about a 10X. Now, I'm not here to tell anyone to get into crypto. Crypto has been a win some, lose some, hold some game for me. I did a lot more than those two trades with Bitcoin and ETH. And overall, I am well up. I know, congrats, good job to me, pat on the back. But looking at the gold to silver ratio trading, I've just never been able to get ahead on that. If I had the patience to do it over decades, I'm sure I could make it work. But why try to make it work like an investment when there are other ways to make profits if that's what you're after? I was able to buy more gold with the proceeds of my crypto sales, by the way. I think I mentioned that I bought more gold in March of 2021 when the price had dropped 20% from prior highs. Well, I just happened to have sold some ETH and Bitcoin at the point, so that gave me some convenient capital to do it with. And I guess you could say that the other way to look at gold to silver trades would be more in the fun category. The reality for me would be that it could either be fun and not make sense, or it could make sense and not be fun. I could make the numbers work if I traded my high premium gold for like deal bin silver, or I could do the opposite and I could make it fun if I traded a huge amount of silver for the gold that I actually want, but I just can't see it being a strategy that would really ever work out for me, at least not at a level significant enough to be worth it. So my point in all this is to look at whether trading the gold to silver ratio actually makes sense with physical metals. You might be able to get it to work, but I haven't been able to. And I think that that has a lot to do with me not thinking of physical gold or silver as an investment. If I was, that would really require me to always be looking for the right exit. Now, all that said, I have been in and out of gold over the years, not entirely out, but I've sold. And when I use it to fund actual investments, say like real estate or those small crypto deals that I mentioned, it has always worked out extremely well. So if I'm going to trade out of gold, it just has to have a chance of having a big return. Otherwise, I just don't think it's worth it. Your mileage may vary. Okay, so let's call it good there. I haven't checked the time. It feels like a long one, though. Just let us know what you think about trading the ratio. I'm sure a few of you have made it work. A few of you probably did it despite the math, maybe like me. And then a lot of others, I'm sure a lot of you are on the fence. Let us know where you fall. And then while you're in the comments, be sure to hit the like button if you found any of this interesting. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications turned on if you want to see more on the topic. And if you're still here, thanks again for watching. I always appreciate your time. Take care.